Here we are again at a local grocery store asking consumers what questions they have for farmers. Let's go inside and hear what they have to say. If you had any questions for a farmer or rancher? I guess how many chemicals go into it. Providing this edition's answer is Charity Bathurst, who lives on a farm in Dickinson County with her six children and husband, Jeff. The family's farm includes cropland and cows. They grow wheat, alfalfa, corn, soybeans, and sunflowers. It's truly a family operation. Jeff's dad and brother work on the farm, too. Charity homeschools five of her kids and spends most of her time organizing the family schedule, preparing family meals, and working on the farm when she can. How many chemicals do you use? We use is what it's required in order to produce a healthy plant. Um, my husband applies the chemicals on our fields, and I know he had some third graders in a class once, and he showed them a small eyedropper um, for when you get eye drops from your doctor. And then he also showed them, he had put cones out to show the size of an acre. And he's helping to visualize that the amount of chemical in that acre is the amount of liquid in this small eyedropper. And it's being spread over a very large area. So maybe that's a picture of how many chemicals we use on our field. Um, you know, also remember that um, there are microorganisms in our soil. Our soil is a living Thing. It's, an, it's alive, and for us to over abuse chemicals would be harmful to our own soil, which is our resource, and it's the only thing we've got. So it's important for us to keep it healthy, and so we have no desire to um, over or abuse the chemicals. Um, and and the, the, the neat thing is, is these chemicals have allowed us to even protect our soil, and by that you, we mean means that we do not need to go over the field as often with tillage and turn the dirt and so that means that it's not going to erode away or blow away 